A town student speaking out tonight outraged about what she says her daughter witnessed on a school bus last week. Only right here on 41 Action News that mother sharing her story with us in hopes that this does not happen to anybody else's child. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez live at Raytown Middle School with this message from this mother and what she hopes other parents will watch out for, Andres. Yeah, Mike, that mother says that her daughter still can't get over what happened as she was waiting for classmates during a field trip. The teen says that the school bus driver was watching porn on his phone while she was on board. This is a disgusting, vile thing that this person did on a school property. This mother, whose identity we're concealing due to the nature of the allegations, told 41 Action News last Thursday her daughter, a Raytown High senior, was caroling with the choir at different schools within the district. At Raytown Middle School, their fifth and final stop, the 17-year-old didn't feel good, so she stayed on the school bus. She was crouched down in her seat with the coat over her. Um, she was in the middle of the bus. Then um, about five minutes, or maybe a little bit less than that, she started hearing pornography sounds from the bus driver's phone. And then she also heard him self-pleasuring himself. She says her daughter stayed still for half an hour so the driver wouldn't know she was on the bus. When the choir came back on board, the teen immediately reported what she heard to the choir director and filed a police report. A KCPD spokesperson told 41 Action News a sex crimes detective took the case to the prosecutor's office, but because there wasn't evidence that the teen saw the bus driver's actions, they couldn't file charges. As for the school district, they did assure me that he would never drive in the uh, Raytown School District again. A district spokesperson in a statement said in part, while we cannot comment on specific personnel matters, we can share the district's response that typically includes providing reports to the child abuse and neglect hotline, placing an employee on leave pending an investigation, and imposing consequences, including termination. The incident has traumatized the young woman. She did not go to school on Friday. She didn't want to go to school today, but um, I think if she can get back in the swing of things, we hoping that this does not affect her um, terribly down the road. Now, the school district did not notify parents about what happened here because they said it's an isolated incident. Reporting live outside Raytown Middle School, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.